Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities across the country for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, corporate organizations with products and services that appeal to the youths, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs, as well as corporate organizations, plus vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. For sponsorship and advert placement, please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. You can also email us at info at educationreportontv.com or visit our website www.educationreportontv.com Education Report on TV Promoting excellence in education on television nationwide Spelling B is an annual competition organized for public primary and secondary schools in Lagos State. It was initiated and introduced by the New Era Foundation, a non-governmental organization established by Senator Oluremi Tinumbu. This year's competition had contestants who emerged as winners from the preliminaries held at the 57 local council areas of the state. The two-day event had in attendance stakeholders from the education sector and other important dignitaries. The first day had pupils from the public primary schools within the state competing for the first prize. The word is Empress. E-N-P-R-E-S-S. Correct! Window shop. W-I-N-D-O-W-S-H-O-P. Correct. Sheepish. S-H-E-E-P-I-S-H. Correct. At the end of the competition, Adewumi Usman from St. Paul African Church Primary School, Mushin, emerged as the winner of the competition. The word is acquisition. A-C-Q-U-I-S-T-I-O-N. Not correct. The word is dysfunction. D-I-S-F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Not correct. Number 14. Spell the word measles. Measles. M-E-A-N-L-E-S. Correct. Second day, students from secondary schools in the state took turns to spell their way to victory. Boomerang. B O O M E R A N G. Correct. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Xenophobia. Xenophobia. X E N O P H O B I A. However, Jumwa Afolari from Omole Senior Grammar School came first, while Abolaji Abdurrahman from Community Senior High School Ayoboy Paja came second. Spell the word Somatoj. Somatoj. T H O M A T O U R G. Again. T H O M A T U R G. No. T H A U M A T U R G Y. Correct. <laughs> Stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up, for the champions, for the champions, stand up, for the champions, for the champions, stand up. In an 
interview with Education Report on TV, the winner of the competition, who is now the new one-day governor, expressed his joy. I feel happy and glad. Thanks to the Gaza government and New Era Foundation, and thanks to God. Indeed, the Spelling Bee competition has provided an avenue for students in Lagos State to showcase their innate talents, improve their dictions, develop confidence in public speaking, and value for rules and discipline in their career. Golden Penny Semovita is fortified with nourishing vitamins and contains fiber for easy digestion. Our low-fat and high-protein content with easily digestible carbohydrates makes for the perfect family meal. Golden Penny Semovita, share our secret. Now available in new attractive packs. There is no gain saying that the Lagos State Government, through its Ministry of Education, has been leaving no stone unturned in ensuring that education continues to grow by leaps and bounds in the state. As part of its yearly activities, the state Ministry of Education organized a ministerial press briefing to disclose the activities and achievements of the ministry in the last one year. Present at the press briefing were stakeholders in the education sector of the state. Speaking at the event, the Commissioner for Education in Lagos State, Barrister Olayinka Oladunjoyi, spoke extensively on the activities and achievements of the ministry. The laboratories were also providing the science equipment and chemicals, while another 27 schools are currently being supplied with science laboratories and equipment and chemicals as the state. The purpose of this administration to continue to drive provision of ICT in our schools. To us, this is the way to do learning sustainability. 400 teachers were trained in ICT curriculum across the six education districts, while specialized workshops on YFG determinant reports and market schemes were organized for 60 teachers. Because they participated actively through our children in the following competitions NNPC National Police Competition and K7. Nigerian Junior Science Olympiad and became the best. We qualified us to represent Nigeria at the 2012 International Science Olympiad in Tehran, Iran. Our children from Lagos recorded the best performance at the National Mathematics and Science Olympiad held in Abuja. And this qualified them to represent Nigeria at the following International Olympiad. 2012 International Physics Olympiad at Estonia, Europe, International Olympiad in Iran, and International Science Olympiad in Abuja. Lagos <laughs> State and Cross Lagos State represented Nigeria at the 2013 Taiwan International Science Fair in March 2013, and Lagos came second and third. So it was a first time project of 21 countries at that competition. One of our public School teacher, Ms. Mosumola Tulu Alalade from Community Senior High School, Surulere, was the only African teacher that was found worthy and represented the, presented the paper at the International Fair in Taipei. He also disclosed the activities of the Lagos State Government towards improving adult literacy. 11,932 learners have been enrolled for the adult literacy program while 45 graduated from different states in all the various agencies, educational centers. The 2012 International Literacy Day Ceremony was held on the 12th of September 2012. More learners were registered. Every program creates awareness for literacy education, and so far, two to three learners have been registered for the year 2013 educational training in the state. Students of tertiary institutions were also not left out as scholarships were also made available by the Lagos State Government. Our scholarship for brilliant indigent students of the university are still very much ongoing. But to enjoy this scheme, students must maintain a CGP of 4.5 at the end of every academic session. The university has continued to experience relative peace and stability in the last two years. It is a transparent and open door policy of the present administration, led by no less a person than Professor John Olada of Lagos State University College of Medicine, Lassipo. Lagos State University College of Medicine, Lassipo, 
examination of medical and dental students. Training of members of staff. The college sponsored 25 members of staff for the training within and outside the country. Two for international and six for local trainings. Five for local conferences. Three for international and one for local conferences. The objective of the training program is to, is to build capacity and enhance productivity of staff. The event also had a question and answer segment. We recently witnessed a protest by secondary school students in Lagos over the issue of the job. I'd like to know the current position of state government on this. We intend to call the stakeholders meeting in an enlarged one and we are going to do a kind of interactive session or a stakeholders meeting. And we are all going to agree about what to do. But I want to say to you that we have been returning schools to private owners who own Muslim schools and Christian schools. And I can say that for a fact that a parent that doesn't want a child to be in conformity with the school uniform and design has a right to take the child to a Muslim school where they can, where they can use the child. And they, you can, it's a product with every benefit that are corresponding liabilities. You cannot say because it's enshrined the constitution for your right fundamentally to put on what you please. How about if a Christian now put on a scapula as a Catholic? Or uh, those who are uh, put on the hijab or shaki? As I do, we will hear. It's a right as well. So we have confusion, we have a breakdown of law and order. So to that extent, we just have to manage the situation and ensure that when prayers are being said, when they are going to read the Quran or touch the Quran, they have the right to make the hijab uh, great because they cannot open their head. But we have a parent. That's the other. That's the flip side of it. At the end of the press briefing, the commissioner enjoined every Lagosian to contribute his or her own quota towards improving education in the state. But we cannot achieve much as a government without the support of all of those that are here. Indeed, the private sector is to be on the parents and guardians and the larger society and Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities across the country for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, corporate organizations with products and services that appeal to the youths, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs, as well as corporate organizations, plus vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. For sponsorship and advert placement, please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. You can also email us at info at educationreportsontv.com or visit our website www.educationreportontv.com Education Report on TV Promoting excellence in education on television nationwide As a mother, I always try to ensure my family has a great day and it starts with Golden Penny Pasta At work, it gives my husband the energy to be outstanding at what he does for me, it gives me the vitality to face the challenges of the day. And when my kids do their thing, they're the star attraction. Let your family stand out from the crowd. Give them Golden Penny Pasta. Golden Penny Pasta, my family's choice.